Gilgo Beach murder suspect Rex Hurman is scheduled to be back in court this morning. This is on Long Island. Hurman was arrested last year and charged with murdering four women, all sex workers who had gone missing between 2007 and 2010. Our Laura Engel is live on Long Island outside of the courthouse where all of this will be happening today. Uh, Laura, what are you expecting at today's proceedings? Hey, Kelly. Well, we could really hear anything happen with Discovery today. Uh, the last time that we saw Rex Hurman in court here uh, on Long Island was February 6th, and that is when there was new Discovery handed over uh, to his defense. Um, so this could be more of that. And I want to remind you all that the last time that we got Discovery, we learned uh, a couple of new nuggets of information in court documents that were released, uh, namely that the victims of Rex Hurman, allegedly the Gilgo Four, were all found nude or they didn't have any clothing on. The only thing that were around their bodies were belts and tape and burlap. That was a new detail. At his last hearing, Rex Hewerman's defense attorney, Mike Brown, also told reporters that he is anxious to get his hands on the nearly 3,000 tips and leads that investigators had gathered in this decades-long case, pointing to the prior district attorney in the case who he says almost charged another person who lived in Rex Hewerman's same hometown of Massapequa. Pequot Park on Long Island. We haven't been able to get a name on that, but we've been pressing. A prosecutor's alleged Rex Hewerman had a double life, commuting by day into Manhattan for his job as an architect. But when his wife went out of town, investigators say he was killing sex workers. Hewerman has been charged with four of the murders in the Long Island serial killer case, known as the Gilgo Four, who were each found just feet apart from each other, all found with burlap and thick bramble along a busy highway on Long Island. Now, we do expect to see Hewerman. Hurman's wife, Asa Ellerup, today. She has been visiting her husband in the Suffolk County Correctional Facility on a regular basis, we've been told, according to her attorney who says she just visited him last Friday. Ellerup filed for divorce shortly after Hurman's arrest, as we know, but has since said she does not believe Hurman was capable of the murders and is willing to give him the benefit of the doubt during these proceedings. Also important to note, the discovery in this case that has been handed over to the defense is under a protected order, which means means that Hurman's wife and the public do not have access to the specifics of the information provided by prosecutors to the grand jury. The only way we all learn this information in the case is by being right here in court to hear the proceedings and through the court documents that are filed after. Now, in the past, we have seen some of the victim's family members here in court. We're not sure who will show up today, but we do expect to see Asa Ellerup. We'll have more for you throughout the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.